Hey everyone, in this video we'll discuss how to use the filter options in a poker tracker and how to check for leaks in your game. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is um, click on the filters button and for example we will have a look to see how well we're playing um, our pair. So when we are dealt a pair are we profitable when we play? So on the whole cards tab, we click all pairs on, we add the filter, and apply it. So at first, what you want to do is to just get a glimpse at whether or not you're profitable. And we can have a look here and see that yes, we are indeed uh, quite profitable when we play our whole cards. So not necessarily a leap. We're probably playing this well, so we can just tell ourselves, you know, pat ourselves on the back, say good job, we're playing those well. Uh, let's try to find some one that we're not playing so well. So let's say our suited connectors. Let's have a look to see if we're playing suited connectors properly. Okay, well we're playing these okay too, but not nearly as good as the whole as the uh, whole cards. So let's have a look at how we can analyze our play and uh, review some of the hands when we had suited connectors. So, in these tabs, or sorry, on each one of the days under the winning tabs, um, if you change your display to daily hands, it will give you an example of all the suited connectors you were dealt. Um, so for example, on this day, it looks like we lost a lot of money with suited connectors. So what we'd wanna do is click on the play hands button and uh, have a look at how we're playing. So. We'll just take this one for example. We have a 9-10 suited. And we call the big raise with it in position, which is not too bad. So let's see what we do here. So he bets out, and then we re-raise. So we're getting a little funky here, it looks like. Uh, and then we shoved, and we missed. So we must have had a read on this player, and it didn't go so well, but we can have a look and say next time, you know, maybe against this player we shouldn't play so aggressively. Uh, let's have a look at a second hand here. So here we raise in position, uh, pretty standard with our king queen with our king queen suited. So here we raise and then we re-raise and then we call. So again, uh, kind of an interesting call there. Um, may have been on tilt. So again, you review these hands and say, you know, wow, what a huge mistake that was. And then next time you, uh, you won't make the same mistake. So you note down any mistakes you made. Uh, same, by the same token, you also want to review the hands you won to see if you're uh, perhaps like sucking out or, you know, not playing perfectly. So we'll have a look at this. So we raise under the gun five handed with seven, six suited and we get a call from the button. So we lead out, and then we turn an open-ended. Um, we'll see what happens. And then he bets kind of large, and we're both pretty deep at this point. We hit our uh, we hit our straight on the river. We shove and actually get called. So not too bad. We kind of called a big bet on the turn, but. He did have a deep stack, and we were putting him on a big ace at that point, and if we hit, we knew we'd probably get a big chunk of money, and uh, in that situation, we did. Um, so just an example again of uh, one of the things you can look at to check for leaks in your game. Uh, so instead of playing, looking at, you know, made filters, let's see what else we can do, have a look at. So we can say, Let's see how we're playing when we uh, call raises. So somebody raises and then we call. So I'll have a look here and see, you know what? We're not actually playing so well here um, by calling raises. So we've only called raises 2,000 hands out of our 35,000 sample, but we can see that it's kind of up and down, it's not too bad, so the same deal, we'll go back to these different hands and uh, it will show us all the times that we called a raise and then we can have a look at how we played them. 
so let's just have a look at this first one. So we raised, and then this guy shoved, and then we called. Uh, I guess knowing that this guy is kind of crazy, and uh, seemed to have worked out that hand. <coughs> so there, as you can see, um, he he four bet, but only an extra ten dollars, and we got one call, so we had the odds to call. And then I uh, flopped the open-ended and hit the straight there on that hand. Um, likewise, you want to look at the pots that you lost and uh, try to see what you did wrong here. So here we raise with kings. Guy on the button, three bets. And we just call it. And he flops a 7-4. And we probably show up here. And we obviously get called. So... Really silly, but you know, nothing wrong with that play in that example. You try to trap a guy who you probably figured to be kind of crazy, he obviously hit a miracle flop. So, again, you just want to be reviewing all the hands to uh, try to rethink about how you played them and uh, take it from there. Uh, in the filters button here or in this menu, there are tons of options that you can see, you know, just how well you're playing. We went through a few of them. Um, you'll definitely want to check out how you're playing in 3-bet pots, for example. You'll definitely want to see, you know, if you're calling all-ins well, when, you know, when you're facing an all-in, what do you do? How are you playing on the river? A uh, big one that I like is calling on the river. So are you making good calls on the river? So you can say uh, actions, river, call, and then have a look at how you're playing and see if you have a leak there. So. Uh, that's an example of how you can check and fix some of your leaks in, um, by using the data in PokerTracker 3. If you guys have any questions, let me know.